I think feminine stereotypes are becoming ever less relevant with, you know, gender fluidity and all those things. So brands have to market to much, a much wider variety of women. And I think the way to do that is always with humour and intelligence and honesty and truth. For me, the challenge for marketeers is that femvertising doesn't become a shortcut for brand creativity. So that when we get a brand brief into our agency and it's aimed at a female audience, we don't just immediately say, oh, this is about femvertising, so it's about female empowerment and it's about using real women, because that's what we can do in advertising and get it very wrong. I would say the major challenges for um, marketing to women today is really talking to them at an emotional level. Um, we're always constantly bombarded by enormous messages, messages to uh, look good, feel good, be the best that you can, lean in, be that superwoman. And really the reality of today is that we're trying to do all of those things. Um, I'm a woman, obviously, I'm also a wife, but I'm more importantly a mother of three. I'm constantly trying to um, juggle all of those elements. And really what I want to be, I want to be spoken to at a much more kind of honest, authentic way. So I think there's many challenges when marketing to women and it's a very fine balance between getting it very right and getting it very wrong. Um, you can be aspirational and then you can stereotype women. You can be empowering, but you, then you can put too much pressure on women. And I think you can be really encouraging of women, but then you can patronize them. So ultimately it requires a great deal of thought and a great deal of kind of insight and empathy to get it right. I think one of the major challenges in marketing to women is always keeping on top of how women are changing themselves. Um, I think where a lot of brands fall down, advertisers fall down, is that they have quite a dated view of what women want and how women behave. You know, women are the household CEO. They do actually make, I would say, probably 80% of the purchasing decisions in the house. And that's everything from fairy liquid to the car that you buy. And actually, it seems like it takes a bit of time for everyone to get to that point. They're still convinced that women are really only interested in beauty products or cleaning products. Um, and actually, I would say that's an opportunity as well for advertisers um, to see women not just as sort of secondary purchases. I think the real challenge is about sincerity and making quite sure that advocating for women is a properly ingrained piece of activity for the brand, not just a bought off the shelf piece of advertising communication. I mean, I think the most important thing for any sort of brand or marketing now to, to any group within society is that it's got to be relevant and it mustn't be condescending or patronizing to people. Um, consumers um, are pretty, they're very clever, they, they know where they stand and where, when they're being oversold to and things like that, or condescended to, so it's important that, that it doesn't happen.